Hey, Sneakling Spad, tonight, tonight we've got Zorin OS4 for release, but this one is a light edition, so it's LXDE to me and you, so it's supposed to be super fast, super light, super duper duper duper, and on the whole it is. So you get your menu, get Google Chrome, File Manager, Dead Brief, not to on that one personally. We're going to the other side, Volume Control, Ethernet Connection or Wireless, whatever, Time and Date, and your Shutdown Menu. So that's all basic LXDE with a flashy desktop. That's quite nice, isn't it? I rather like it, it's alright. So, I'll go to the menu, and we'll go through it with you. So accessories, you get what you would do in LXD, so leaf pad and LX terminal, arts of an X pad, they're all there. Only three games, though. Only three games. For that sort of ISO, I was expecting a little bit more, but we'll see why it's got extra in it a bit earlier. Or later, even. So under graphics, we've got Scribers, which I'm going to open for you, but apart from that, apart from MT Paint and a scanning program, that's all you get. So that's not too much at all, really, is it? But hey, it's not bad, and it's not good so far. We've just started, haven't we? So, Scribers, we opened it up, and that Scribers I've been using for years, and it never seems to change. Can you see? It's just the same. The reason why, it does the job. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Only improve it, which they have kept to that policy, I think. Pretty cool. So, back to graphics again. As you can see, simple scans, your scanning program, as it would be. Bear in mind, it's based on Ubuntu 10.10, so it should be quite stable anyway. Now, Internet Browser Manager under Internet. So, we'll click that, and I'll show what that's all about. Basically, after putting in my password, you get the option of installing other browsers. And of course, you can do this from a software center or Synaptic. I prefer Synaptic. Personally, myself. So you get Firefox, Opera, or Midori. Now I'm going to install Midori because I like small light browsers. It's been a bit temperamental over the past couple of builds I've tried, you know what I mean? It, but it, on the whole, it works okay. But hey, let's have a look see what this one does. We'll click OK. It seems to have installed. We'll go back down to the menu. As LXD, it's all menu driven. There's no bits and bobs, by the way. So we click on Midori. Ah, bit of an error. But that's because the home page was marked for that. That doesn't mean to say it's not working. So I'll go to the search bar. I'm just going to put in the bubba Quickly go to there. There you go. Look, super fast, super duper, as what we like. So I'll click on the home page just to show that it all works nice and fine. Ah, doom, gloom, doom, gloom, doom, gloom, 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 doom, gloom. We'll get rid of that. We'll close that there. And we'll go to something a bit more interesting for you. This is not a very long video because I'm doing a different one on Zorin in a couple of days. So, you know what I mean? So, get Pigeon, Slyford for your email, and transmission for your BitTorrents, and Office, Abbey Road, Junior American Osmo. All you need, really, in the day. If you don't do too much Office stuff, you don't need nothing else. Sound and video, you get Cheese, Dead Beef, M Player, VLC, and XF Burn. Right, my first beef. <laughs> Little joke there. Dead Beef. A lot of distros are chucking this in. Now, the thing I about this. It don't rip stuff either. Yes, I know you can get asunder and ripping programs, but the way people are bigging it up is so it's a be all and end all. Now I know a lot, not a lot of people buy the CDs or DVDs anymore, so I might be one of the last, you know, because I'm getting old to get equalizer. Though. So if you're buying stuff online, it's ideal. But if you have got physical stuff like CDs that you've had, like some of my CDs are so old, they're uh, as old as me. You know, it's nice to be able to rip them in the same program as you play them. Plenty of extras there, just see. Okay. That's my bit of beef over with, anyway. But hey, if you don't like it, install something else. That's all you can do, you know what I mean? M-Player, as I said before, VLC, XF Burn. Now, XF Burn, I do like, and I've used it for a long time, occasionally, not all the time. It's like all the others, really, but a bit smaller and lighter. You know, it's not a K3B and stuff like that, but it does the job what it says, which is what you want in this sort of system, which is for older machines, you know, not too old, maybe a Duran 12 or something like that, or maybe even older. So we're going to the control centre, Zorin OS Control Center. It looks like something else, doesn't it? You tell me what it is. I know what it is, but you tell me what you reckon it is. You've got panel, look, feel, language, your background, open box stuff, which is also do LXT. Now the look changer, which I think may have took up some space on the ISO. On this one, you only get Windows 2000 or Mac OS X. Yes, all right, you know. Yeah, just leave it as it is. I like LXD, so no big deal. Change your monitor, screensaver, input devices, additional drivers, they're all there. The browser manager's there as well, and so is the update manager and the software center. Okay, so we'll come out of that, and we'll go and do something else, I do think myself. So, okay, system tools. I've done that before. Task manager's there, and so is your system profile. Uh, one comes with play on Linux, so if you like playing older games or stuff that it supports, it works super fine. If it don't, 
you up the creek without a paddle, really, aren't you? So anyway, we'll open St. Kells. Here we go. The firewall. I don't like this firewall. Well, the way it, it's using IP tables, but it's just not very intuitive, really, like some of the others that are out there. So it's all right if you're into Linux and you know what you're doing, but Zorin are trying to do stuff like to bring Windows users over. So I would have expected St. Kells in there, but hey, they might do it in the next one. I mean, come on. Give them a break, they're doing it on their own, just a couple of them. There's only two of them as far as I know. Unless they've had more babies. They might have done, you never know. No, they can't have babies, they're men. Okay, back to the menu. Preferences again. G part is there as it would be. You say dinky stuff there, open box, DVD, JDK even. I thought that was a drink. Well, no, it can't be. Oh, my. Ooh, no. Your Java stuff there, text to speech is also there, your update manager. And your Windows wireless drivers, which means the wrapper. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to open Synaptic up. I always use Synaptic most of the time anyway, because you get more up-to-date software than the software center in Ubuntu-based stuff. Okay? So we're going to look for something. I've already reloaded and updated it, obviously, because I've been running, been running it for a little while. So I'm going to look for AMSM. Now, the simple reason is my kids like AMSM because it looks like the Microsoft one. I oh, know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I can't put them down there. They're too old. But hey, if you highlight it, it tells you all about it. If you want to install it, all you basically do, click the box, mark for installation like you would any distro that's this sort of based, especially Debian based, as you know, and off you go. So we're going to click apply. And these 13.7 mega stuff, it's going to take about 30, 40 stuff. I did cut the video here. I don't want to get bored, because I'm trying to get these under 10 minutes at the moment, because it's, it's, it's a light edition, it doesn't need too much looking into, whereas the heavier distros really need more time. So anyway, we'll go down to details like that for you, I've moved it all up so you can see what's going on. Now I have cut this bit also, because it takes up time that you don't really need, because some of you don't like watching paint dry, some of you might like watching this, you know, and if you download stuff from Synaptic next time, you might actually click that and see what stuff it installs, and you may like, or you may not like, I don't know. Okay, so that's all done now. We'll wait for Synaptic to do its stuff and my stuff. This is the basic test machine, by the way. The basic, no, the basic test machine. Not the basic, the basic. So it's running super cool, really. I'm quite pleased. So yeah, AMSN's there. We'll open it up. Oh, there it tells you all about it. Blah, 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 genuine, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, lovely. All you do, as you would in any internet client, just put your username, your password, and what you want to do with it. So we're going to quick that. And I'm also going to get rid of that little folder that's put in for your receive stuff. Because I don't really want that there, personally. But if you did, you'd put it in your home folder or something like that, wouldn't you? So, yeah, that's super cool. Well, there's not much more to show you, really, because it's a basic LXD stuff. Now, I think they could have got away with a lighter ISO here, personally. But hey, they will obviously tell me different and smack me bottom or something like that. I don't know. So, last but not least, we're going to look at some of the wallpapers we've got here. There's some quite nice ones. There's not too many, because it is the small light version. There's also an educational light version as well, so I might check out along the way. So, I'm going to change my desktop background to leaves, and we're going to click on open. Lovely. That looks nice. Isn't that really, really nice? Yeah. Very green, but I like green, to be sure. Okay, so, end of the day, lovely jubby. Sneaky Linux out.